to take to. I thought I didn't see the red light. You're looking at the control room at the University of Maine in Fort Kent. Uh, this is the interactive television uh, educational network in Maine's studio room. And uh, this rack of equipment behind me is housing all of the equipment required to provide broadcast and reception of educational network Maine uh, classes. The uh, data for this campus going out to the internet is also uh, housed in uh, processed through this particular room because this is where the fiber terminates at the end. The rack on the left hand side is a troubleshooting rack. Uh, there's a patch bay there used for bypassing any electronics that fails and for testing purposes. Uh, there's also some equipment there that does the uh, job of combining video data okay. and uh, voice on the fiber. The rack next to that, which currently has an image from NASA, that's uh, another test rack of associated test equipment, test uh, uh, color bar generators, so forth, uh, that also has our microwave broadcasting transmitters in there. Uh, the reason we're seeing NASA is because that's where the satellite feed from uh, this campus happens to terminate, and we can distribute that around campus. Uh, the rack next to that is uh, more distribution equipment for video. Uh, we put our own uh, closed circuit television system online there. Uh, and into that we patch various sources of video as well as radio for student entertainment. And that's broadcast to all the uh, dorm rooms. You're talking about the, the VSAs there? Yeah. And uh, the next three racks comprise most of the studio equipment required to generate classes there's monitors that monitor all of the camera inputs. Uh, we have a couple of switching units that allow us to, to uh, AV switch video and audio back and forth. Uh, camera control units, some uh, Super VHS tape decks for recording video, and then some additional test equipment for monitoring our video signal to make sure we conform to NTSC standards. And then on the far right is the rack of equipment that's used for uh, teleconferencing. There's a four-line 1-800 number system that students use to call into the site and this is the switchboard for that. And then all the audio equipment is housed there as well. The microphones in the classroom are all patched in the ear and we do the mixing and then the, the equipment does some automated echo cancelling that prevents feedback. Uh, in front of all that is the Grass Valley switcher that is used to do all the special effects. That's where we switch from camera to camera. We add character generation um, and key other video uh, into particular scenes. That's about it. In a nutshell. Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, allows you to do a mix okay. between cameras. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, no, I don't have any other video coming in there except the snow. So that allows me to do Okay. Allows you to take like camera one is now inserted in, into uh, camera two. So that'd be some kind of sync generator that two or two signals that have to be synchronized? Yep. Yeah, we have a time-based like corrector. All the video goes through so that you can do that kind of stuff and you can fade halfway in and out. If you didn't have that Right now, you'd lose sync, and the whole picture would be destroyed. Which uh, th uh, that that is also how you would do what uh, what we call split screen, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it's just another wipe. You can do a split. Yeah, that's what they call a wipe, I, I take it. And yep. then split screen, which uh, could show uh, either diagonal or horizontal or even vertical, I suspect. And depending on the, how fancy the switcher is, you can generate other patterns, such as circles, squares, diamonds. And then when you get into the digital technology, that's when you get the ability to, like when you watch a Super Bowl, they, they take one screen, roll it up, yeah. Or it, it, it all folds up into a globe and spins off to the corner. Those are all effects that are done digitally. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that, must, that must be digital too, that, uh, that switcher? No. It's not analog? Analog switcher. What did you see? Oh, 
Okay. Are you familiar with this, some of the stuff out here? Uh, this particular unit that I've got framed in uh, deals with the, uh, apparently it's a remote control for the cameras. Some sort of remote control for the cameras. Yes, he is. Pan he was panning, and I noticed that. Same effect. Uh, same effect that uh, when I was going to school, it was actually a camera operator uh, with uh, people in the uh, studio or the control center, and the director would tell us, "Okay, pan left or tilt, tilt down or." But it was under human rather than electronic control at the time.